Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VT in price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VT in chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 0.0193 dollar mark. We have also lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also seen a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had been trading within which is this descending channel which has now given us a breakout to the lower side. We we have also continued to obey the ADO structures where I still believe that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of these higher ADO wave count 2 which has managed to get into the minimum retracement area between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 which is this blue target area and soon I'll be expecting the start of an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of these higher ADO wave count 3 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my breakdown targets here on the V chain chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upper side of being the adiotrope structures where I have this adiotrope structure in red having that is the first wave then a wave 2 a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then a wave 5 giving us a picket around the 0.3257 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of this 5 wave structure to the upper side we completed an even larger adiotrope count 1 to the upper side and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO wave count 1 I was expecting to see a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADO wave count 2 and using the Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that higher ADO wave count 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0.02409 dollar mark and the 0.01918 dollar mark and it is within this blue target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for that second wave and once we bottom out in the formation of that higher ADO wave count 2 then I'll be expecting a massive reversal to the upper side in the formation of this higher ADO wave count 3 which is an impulsive wave and for now we are yet to see the low for that second wave because you can see that the breakdown is still continuing and we have also seen a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had been trading within which is this descending channel which has now given us a breakout to the lower side and after seeing the breakout we have continued pushing even lower and I think we need to continue watching the FIB level 0.78 which lies at around the 0.01924 dollar mark and also a key area of support at around the 0.0 0.0193 dollar mark because in case the breakdown continues and we lose the FIB level 0.78 and also lose our key area of support at around the 0.0193 dollar mark then there are chances that VeChain might continue seeing even lower prices to get us to our next key area of support at around the 0.1798 dollar mark and the moment we lose the FIB level 0.78 then that will start to put a major challenge on the formation of these higher ADO wave count 2 so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and in case the breakdown continues continue watching the FIB level 0.78 and also our key area of support at around the 0.0193 dollar mark because in case we lose those key areas here on the charts then there are chances that VeChain might continue seeing a worst case scenario where we might continue seeing even lower prices here on the VeChain chart so that is what I'm expecting on the short term scenarios and before I give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out we can first take a look at the indicators where on the RSI you can see we are trading at around the 25 mark meaning we have managed to get into the oversold region so we have massive room for us to support higher prices in case the reversal starts but in case the breakdown also continues that movement of the RSI will still be supported also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bearish cross fully supporting further breakdown maybe to get us to the FIB level 0.78 and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing it on the ADOTF structures you can see that VeChain from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw that massive bounce to the upper side seeing the all time high at around the 0.29 dollar mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that has now given us a low at around the 0.01464 dollar mark and after seeing the low for that ABC corrective structure that is the low that I'm terming the, as the low for that 
higher ADU Trev Count 2. And what we expect after seeing the formation of a larger ADU Trev Count 2 is the start of an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of a higher ADU Trev Count 3, where I have minimum target areas at the FIB level 1.618, and that is at around the 0.46277 dollar mark. And that is the minimum that I'm expecting VChain to do here on the long term scenarios and also on the short term scenarios. So let's be patient and see how that plays out, and I'll be keeping you updated.